do a little little test because I got this bike running I'd have put about 25 miles on it last weekend and I want to compare it to mine there's a couple things I'm not sure about but I first wanted to go ride mine so I can feel what mine feels like and then compare it to that one and I'm trying out a new external mic on this GoPro set it all up on this helmet and whatnot let's see so mine is much louder with the Vance and Hines now that I'm feeling it I bet both my bike and my buddy's bike could do well with the uh, steering bearing replaced it just doesn't feel perfect his is much worse though oh yeah my brakes grab really hard I put an aftermarket cheap master cylinder on this one and it's I got this one stiff as shit and I got stainless lines on it that's one thing on his bike that is no bueno uh, I've got stainless lines ordered and on the way we'll go I did paint this it's kind of a crappy paint job but I was just kind of curious I was painting some other stuff and I was like eh, let's just try it I could probably sand that and do that one better these bikes once they're hot they run really hot like it takes a while to get up there but once it gets up you, know, you can just watch the uh, thermometer it just keeps going up like the fan won't kick on until it hits right about to hot and that's just how these bikes are I know you could install a thermostat to open it earlier so I don't know what they come with but let's just say it's a 190 or something you could put a 185 on or something like that so hopefully the wind noise is getting knocked out with the way this purple panda microphone and dead cat are god it just sounds like i'm dropping too many rpms when i'm getting down i'm glad that it drops the rpm so quick so that's indicative of i don't have an air leak or something like that but it seems like i'm dropping a little too much but i mean the idle is where i want it it's actually raising a little bit higher huh. i think you're supposed to set the idle like 1400 so obviously we're higher than that right now but I don't want to drop it because when I come off the throttle like that, it's dropping down to like a thousand or under. And if the bike gets too low, that oil light will kick on. The low oil pressure will actually kill the bike. I haven't had it happen on this one, but it happened on the other one several times. So I've been bumping the idle up on it. I don't know how much gas I've got. <laughs> I actually have no idea. So since I don't know, we're going to put it on reserve. And I do have the vacuum petcock delete on here, so that's good. Oh, that's a fire truck. I hope that's not my house. Heavy enough to trigger this fucking thing? There we go. What the hell? Did I just lose a turn signal? I did. Left rear just burnt out. Or did it just... No, it's back on now. <laughs> there, it's out. What the fuck? That's cool. Oh, everything I touch breaks. The rear end on this thing just, it feels loose. Like, I don't know how much of it is I can attribute to the shock being terrible. 
at how much I can trade to potentially I've got the chain too loose. Maybe I don't have the alignment perfect. I'm not certain. Front feels good, but the rear I could I could I could do with a better rear. So definitely gonna get a shock. Oh I think I got a 10 pack of bulbs that'll work though. It kinda happened when I hit that big bump. Okay, well at least it's running. I got some work to do. So I'm not going crazy. There's something wrong with the rear end. I, I didn't know if it was just because I hadn't ridden in a while and I didn't remember what it felt like. But it's this. Well, for one, the chain, I don't think I had it this loose, but maybe I did. This is too loose, though I have learned I need to loosen my chains. If you look, this pivot, that's broken. And when I, that master, when it comes around, it's, it's not moving right felt weird when I hit a big bump I don't think this thing's safe this one's like that the masters seizing up I gotta replace this this thing's probably not safe to ride right now I'm gonna do the same thing I did on this one though probably exact same setup because that one's good I'm I'm glad I didn't go out further than that what the heck <sighs> well Maybe I'll grind that chain off, new sprockets, because why not? I'll do that same one, and maybe it's time to get in there and do the shock. I was hoping to do it over the winter, but whew, that's kind of scary. I've not seen a, a rivet like that have a broken bit. I, I don't know if I've just never noticed that, but I feel like I would have seen that. Weird. Uh, let's see if this one starts really nice for me. This one has new gas in it. This one starts much easier normally than this one. There we go, idle is too low. I have to have this idle in the right spot, even with choke. All right, let's go. Now this first thing I know right off the bat is the friction zone on the clutch is way further out on this one. The second thing, and I just got reminded of it, is that the brakes on this thing are terrible. I bled them like three times now and I just can't get that good of a grip. They're very spongy. So I thought it could have been also that it just had some bad pads on it. Like I was worried the pads were contaminated because I just can't get them gripping that hard. So put new EBC pads in it. It grabs good enough that it's not a liability like the first time I went out and I just like went through a stop sign because uh, I didn't expect it to not grab anything. But compared to mine, this thing doesn't stop at all. It does have like 12 year old tires on it. They're the same Bridgestone bias ply ones I got. I think they're BT45s. I think those have now been superseded by a BT46. But I, you can feel that the tires aren't as good when I was riding around last week. Wow, my mirror's way off over there. How did I do that? It's much quieter. It's a civilized engine. It goes pretty good. It just doesn't stop. I get a weird reverberation. I, I, there's a sound. I hear it at a certain RPM range. Like. Uh, not exactly certain where it is. I'm going to try to hit it here. I don't want to go that fast, though. So. I'm wondering if you can hear the reverberation that I'm hearing. I wonder if the cam or uh, microphone's picking that up. Do I not get turn signals here, either? That idle's way up. Well, turn signal just turned on. Gotta love old electronics. Whoops. Am I holding anyone up? It's 
kind of scary putting your hand under here to get the idle because if that fan kicked on, it's gonna like take your finger with it. But you see, this is why I end up having the idle in the wrong spot and having trouble starting it. It's because I gotta jack it up to get the thing started, but then it, once the bike starts getting up to temperature, then it's way too high. I wanna pick up one of those cigarette butts sometime and just fucking throw it right back into that fucking person's window. Yeah, can you see where the camera is? And all that shit that I've got on here? Can't tell if you can see it or not. Good riding this. I thought I would be riding my bike to figure out what was wrong with this one. Riding this one to figure out what's wrong with mine, the rear end feels so much better. Even with this one has the same blown shock that mine does. There's something wrong with mine with that chain. I gotta replace it. See my idle still coming up as the bike gets warmer. I gotta bump it down one more time. It's kind of hard to find the idle on this thing too. And the reason I don't want it too low is that if you're coming off the gas, like if you're on the gas hard and then come off it, and you kind of start coasting to a stop. What I found is that the oil pressure will actually get too low because it'll drop to like 900 RPMs or so. Yeah, I want it higher. And it'll actually kill the bike. My hands are tiny, so <laughs> the friction zone being so far out kind of sucks for me. Tires on this thing are terrible. Do you know that the bikes can use the HOV lane? Damn it, I wanted to get on it. Well, turn signals work better when the bike is warm too, apparently. Couldn't tell you why that is, but it's a thing. I, you can just feel how much better the new tires grip compared to these. Just on that little slow turn. It's not very confidence inspiring being on old tires, and I don't think I ever noticed the difference until I put new tires on and having a one-to-one -one comparison right now. Wow, it's worth quite a bit. Um, I think this thing needs new steering bearings. Why is my idle crawling up so high? There's a lot to be said about fuel injection. It's just my favorite bikes are not fuel injected. Yeah, that person's going across three lanes. How do you do that? I'd like to try that sometime. I don't understand it. I suck enough at riding a motorcycle that's built to handle. How can you <laughs> use those gigantic bars? I'm really curious to see what it's like when you put a, uh, a good shock on the back of these. I want to know how much it changes it. Oh my god, my hands are so cold. <laughs> this thing has no brakes! Okay, so the good news is this thing's pretty damn close to being done. Uh, the big thing I got to do, what's crazy is, do you see how this is all swollen? This is, this is supposed to be 90 degree angles. This is swollen, and Honda put something out in 1986, a bulletin. Somebody on the VFR forums showed me. Uh, water gets in here from either rain or washing, gets in here, freezes, pushes it out. That's why mine has the same type of corrosion. It's not nearly as bad as this. I've got a can of touch-up. That's, that's really the last thing I'm going to be doing before I give this thing away. Well, I'm not giving it away. It's not mine. Uh, give it back to the owner. Uh, I told him we're going to get tires. So we're going to put the tires on here. We're going to put braided lines on the front. And we're going to take all the rust off of here. And just spray bomb. I got the right Honda touch-up. And we'll do it on there. Mask everything off with aluminum foil. And kind of lipstick on, lipstick on a pig. But it's not a show bike anyway. So uh, yeah. I'm glad I did that. Because now I know I got major problems with mine. Uh, if you watch this far. Thanks for watching.